Hey Christians, don't do this shit, okay? Thank you, brother. We're gonna share it with Jesus today. You ready? Can you hear the utter annoyance and secondhand embarrassment from that kid's voice? My nephew and I want to tell you that Jesus loves you, bro. Oh, sorry, bro. I can't do that. That's not work. Gotta respect that. No, all I want to just tell you is God cares about you, man. So the fast food worker clearly is putting up some boundaries here, and the Christian just doesn't give a shit. He's still going to force his beliefs on this guy. Now tell me, what is it called when you force something on somebody without their consent? You don't want to listen. Tell you But you can show who's inside you. Not everyone is going to receive this message. And so that's okay. Because we're planting a seed. So You're not planting a seed. Aggressively pushing your religion onto somebody is called proselytizing. And this is one of the biggest problems that people have with Christianity. And this guy keeps pushing his religious narrative. And this other guy's at work. What is he going to be able to do to stand up for himself? That's some bullshit. Don't forget what we told you, man. Hey, man. God really cares about you, man. If you really love me, why did I get raped when I was little, bro? I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. Uh, what am I? So despite being at work, this guy stood up for himself, possibly risking his job to tell this guy why he doesn't believe. And that should be respected. But the Christian here clearly has no respect for this guy's boundaries at all. He loves me? He does love you, man. When I was innocent? He loves you, bro. Younger than him? I believe I that wasn't... By the fucking I believe that wasn't God, bro. So now you can clearly hear the pain in this guy's voice telling him what he's been through. And the guy is just discounting it. He said, I don't think that's God, bro. So where was your God when this poor guy was being diddled by a family member? Just watching like a pervert? Who was you to protect me, bro? You know what that is? It's to show it's you how... It's too late, how, bro. It how, already how, happened. How, innocent. how evil human point. beings are, bro. He loves you. No, 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 no. You don't get to blame this on how evil human beings are. Who created human beings according to you? Who knew exactly what was going to happen throughout all of history? So he knew that this was going to happen. He did fuck all to stop it. It's so easy just to write it off as like, oh, it's human beings, dude. What are you going to do? God can't do anything to stop them. Then God is either not all powerful or he's not good. Take your pick. No. He loves you, bro. Then even after all this gut-wrenching confession, this guy still has to hit him one last time with, God loves you, bro. That's not empathy. That's torture. There's some people who go through things, you know? And then they put the blame on God without having nothing to do with it. Right, God gets all the credit for all the good stuff, none of the blame for the bad stuff. What a great gig that is. All the kids born with cancer, wasn't me. Hundreds of thousands killed in natural disasters, wasn't me. So Christians, whenever you get upset that people are ragging on Christianity, just remember this is what we think of. This is what we see when we think of Christianity. And if you see nothing wrong with what this guy did, you're part of the problem.